What is the average size of a virus? The smallest viruses are about 17 nanometers in diameter. And the largest viruses are up to 1000 nanometers, 1 micrometer, in length. By comparison, the bacterium Escherichia coli is 2000 nanometers in length. A cell nucleus is 2800 nanometers in diameter, and an average eukaryotic cell is 10,000 nanometers in length. Where are viruses found? Viruses lie dormant in any environment land, soil, air, and on any material. They infect every type of cell plant, animal, bacterial, and fungal. Who first used the term prion? Prions are abnormal forms of natural proteins. Stanley Prusiner, 1942, first used the term prion in 1982 in place of the expression proteinaceous infectious particle when describing an infectious agent. Prusiner was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1997. Current research indicates that a prion is composed of about 250 amino acids. Despite extensive and continuing investigations, no nucleic acid component has been found. Like viruses, prions are infectious agents. What is e-cycling? Cycling is the reuse and recycling of electronic equipment. Donating used electronic equipment for use by others is the environmentally preferred alternative to discarding used electronics. If an electronic device cannot be reused, it should be recycled. The recycling rate for electronic devices is only 18%. With the remaining amount of disposed electronics being discarded in landfills. One of the goals of the plug into e-cycling campaign, a partnership between the EPA and leading consumer. Electronics manufacturers and retailers, is to increase the recycling rate of electronics to 35%. In 2008, the plug into e cycling partners recycled 34,000 tons. 30,844 metric tons of used consumer electronics. Did dinosaurs and humans ever coexist? No. Dinosaurs first appeared in the Triassic period, about 220 million years ago. And disappeared at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 65 million years ago. Modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared only about 25,000 years ago. Movies that show humans and dinosaurs existing together are only Hollywood fantasies.
How much electronic waste is generated in the United States? Electronic waste, e-waste, consisting of TVs and other video equipment. Computers and assorted peripheral equipment, audio equipment, and cell phones. Accounts for less than 2% of the total municipal solid waste. However, the amount of electronic equipment that is generated is increasing steadily. The National Safety Council study of 1998 estimated that 20 million computers became obsolete. Just seven years later, in 2005, the EPA estimated 26 to 37 million computers became obsolete. More recently, in 2007, the EPA estimated the number of computers that became obsolete had doubled since 1998. Furthermore, the Consumer Electronics Association estimated 304 million. Electronics were removed from U.S. households in 2005. In 2007, approximately 414,000 tons. 375,574 metric tons of electronics were collected in the United States for recycling. Is it possible to buy green electronics? Electronic manufacturers are designing products that are more environmentally friendly. Consumers should look for products that contain fewer toxic constituents use recycled. Materials in the new product are designed for easy upgrading and disassembly are Energy efficient use minimal packaging have leasing or take back options for reuse or recycling meet performance criteria that show they are environmentally preferable. What are Cox postulates? Robert Cook was the first to identify that various microorganisms are the cause of disease. His four basic criteria of bacteriology, known as Cox postulates, are still considered fundamental principles of bacteriology. The characteristics are as follows, 1. The organism must be found in tissues of Animals that have been infected with the disease, rather than in disease-free animals. 2. The organism must be isolated from the diseased animal and grown in a pure culture or in vitro. 3. The cultured organism must be able to be transferred to a healthy animal. Which will show signs of the disease after having been exposed to the organism. 4. The organism must be able to be isolated from the infected animal. Cook was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1905 for his research on tuberculosis. What is the name of the early Jurassic mammal that is now extinct? The fossil site of the mammal Hadracodium wuyi was in Yunnan province, China. This newly described mammal is at least 195 million years old. 
the estimated weight of the whole mammal is about 0.07 ounces, 2 grams. Its tiny skull was smaller than a human thumbnail. How did the protist fight of Thura infestans influence Irish history? Fight of Thura infestans, one of the potato's most lethal pathogens, causes the late blight of potato disease. This pathogen was responsible for the Irish potato famine of 1845 to 1849. P. Infestans causes the leaves and stem of the potato plant to decay. Eventually causing the tuber to stop growing. In addition, the tubers are attacked by the pathogen and rot. It has been estimated that during the potato famine 1.5 million Irish people emigrated from their country and moved to various parts of the world, but most immigrated to the United States. An estimated 400,000 people perished during the famine due to malnutrition. Are viruses living organisms? Viruses cannot grow or replicate on their own and are inert outside their living host cell. Once they enter a host cell they become active. As such, they are between life and non-life and are not considered living. Organisms The purified virus precipitated in the form of crystals. During this investigation Stanley was able to demonstrate that viruses can be regarded as chemical matter rather than as living organisms. The purified crystals retain the ability to infect healthy tobacco plants, thus characterizing them as viruses, not merely chemical compounds derived from a virus. Subsequent studies showed that the tobacco mosaic virus consisted of a protein and a nucleic acid. Further studies showed that this virus consisted of RNA, ribonucleic acid, surrounded by a protein coat. Stanley was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1946 for his discovery. What are the characteristics of the protists? Protists are a diverse group of organisms. All protists are eukaryotic. Many are unicellular, but they may be multicellular, multinucleate, or exhibit a colonial organization. Although most are microscopic, some are much larger, reaching lengths of nearly 200 feet, 60 meters. In early, traditional taxonomic schemes, they were united on the basis of being neither plant nor animal nor fungus. Current evidence suggests that protists exhibit characteristics of the plant, animal, and fungi kingdoms. What is a green product? Green products are environmentally safe products that contain no chlorofluorocarbons. Are degradable, can decompose, and are made from recycled materials. 
Deep green products are those from small suppliers who build their identities around their claimed environmental virtues. Greened up products come from the industry giants and are environmentally improved versions of established brands. Are any bacteria visible to the naked eye? Apulopiscium fishelsoni, which lives in the gut of the brown surgeon fish. Acanthurus nigrofuscus, is visible to naked eye. It was first identified in 1985 and mistakenly classified as a protozoan. Later studies analyzed the organism's genetic material and proved it to be a bacterium of unprecedented size. Inches, 0.38 millimeters, in diameter, or about the size of a period in a small print book. Where are bacteria found? Bacteria inhabit every place on Earth including places where no other organism can survive. Bacteria have been detected as high as 20 miles, 32 kilometers. Above the Earth and 7 miles, 11 kilometers, deep in the waters of the Pacific Ocean. They are found in extreme environments, such as the Arctic tundra, boiling hot springs, and our bodies. Heat-tolerant bacteria have been found at a gold mine in South Africa at a level of 2.17 miles. 3.5 kilometers, below Earth's surface where the temperature in the mine was 149 degrees Fahrenheit 65 degrees Celsius. How do bacteria reproduce? Bacteria reproduce asexually, by binary fission a process in which one cell divides into two similar cells. First the circular, bacterial DNA replicates. And then a transverse wall is formed by an ingrowth of both plasma membrane and the cell wall. Who first proposed the kingdom Protista? The German zoologist Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919, first proposed the kingdom Protista in 1866. For the newly discovered organisms that were neither plant nor animal. The term protest is derived from the Greek term protistos, meaning the very first. What was the first retrovirus discovered? DR Robert Gallo, 1937, discovered the first retrovirus, human T-cell lymphoma virus, HTLV. In 1979, the second human retrovirus to be discovered was human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. What is a bacteriophage?
A bacteriophage, also called a phage, is a virus that infects bacteria. The term bacteriophage means bacteria eater, from the Greek word phagine, which means to devour. Phages consist of a long nucleic acid molecule, usually DNA. Coiled within a polyhedral shaped protein head. Many phages have a tail attached to the head. Fibers extending from the tail may be used to attach the virus to the bacterium. What slime mold serves as a model organism in developmental biology? Dictyostelium discoidium has been studied as a model for the developmental biology of complex organisms. Under optimum conditions, this organism lives as individual, amoeboid cells. When food is scarce, the cells stream together into a moving mass. Resembling a slug that differentiates into a stalk with a spore-bearing body at its top. This structure releases spores that can grow into a new amoeboid cell. The development from identical, free-living cells to a multicellular organism simulates many of the properties of more complex and complicated organisms. What slime mold serves as a model organism in developmental biology? Dictyostelium discoidium has been studied as a model for the developmental biology of complex organisms. Under optimum conditions, this organism lives as individual, amoeboid cells. When food is scarce, the cells stream together into a moving mass. Resembling a slug that differentiates into a stalk with a spore-bearing body at its top. This structure releases spores that can grow into a new amoeboid cell. The development from identical, free-living cells to a multicellular organism. Simulates many of the properties of more complex and complicated organisms. What evidence has led scientists to believe land plants evolved from green algae? Many scientists believe that ancient green algae evolved into land plants. The chloroplasts present in green algae are the same as those of land plants. In addition, green algae have cell walls of similar composition to land plants. Both store food, such as starch, in the same manner. Most green algae live in freshwater habitats with highly variable conditions. The ongoing changes in their environment have made them highly adaptable. What evidence has led scientists to believe land plants evolved from green algae? Many scientists believe that ancient green algae evolved into land plants. The chloroplasts present in green algae are the same as those of land plants. In addition, green algae have cell walls of similar composition to land plants. 
both store food, such as starch, in the same manner. Most green algae live in freshwater habitats with highly variable conditions. The ongoing changes in their environment have made them highly adaptable. What characteristics do all fungi share? In the earliest classification systems, fungi were classified as plants. The first classification system to recognize fungi as a separate kingdom was proposed in 1784 researchers identified four characteristics shared by all fungi, fungi lack chlorophyll. The cell walls of fungi contain the carbohydrate chitin, the same tough material a crab shell is made of. Fungi are not truly multicellular since the cytoplasm of one fungal cell mingles with the cytoplasm of adjacent cells, and fungi are heterotrophic eukaryotes. Unable to produce their own food from inorganic matter, while plants are autotrophic eukaryotes. What characteristics do all fungi share? In the earliest classification systems, fungi were classified as plants. The first classification system to recognize fungi as a separate kingdom was proposed in 1784 researchers identified four characteristics shared by all fungi, fungi lack chlorophyll. The cell walls of fungi contain the carbohydrate chitin, the same tough material a crab shell is made of. Fungi are not truly multicellular since the cytoplasm of one fungal cell mingles with the cytoplasm of adjacent cells, and fungi are heterotrophic eukaryotes. Unable to produce their own food from inorganic matter, while plants are autotrophic eukaryotes. What organisms are included in the kingdom fungi? Members of the kingdom fungi range from single cellid yeasts to Armillaria ostoi, a species that covers 2,220 acres, 890 hectares. Also included are mushrooms that are commonly consumed, the black mold that forms on stale bread. The mildew that grows on damp shower curtains, rusts, smuts. Puff balls, toadstools, shelf fungi and the death cap mushroom, Ammonita phalloides. Of the bewildering variety of organisms that live on the planet Earth. Perhaps the most unusual and peculiarly different from human beings are fungi. Fungi are able to rot timber. Attack living plants, spoil food, and afflict humans with athlete's foot and even worse maladies. Fungi also decompose dead organisms, fallen leaves, and other organic materials. In addition, they produce antibiotics and other drugs, make bread rise, and ferment beer and wine. What organisms are included in the kingdom fungi?
Members of the kingdom fungi range from single tzelid yeasts to armillaria ostoi. A species that covers 2,220 acres, 890 hectares. Also included are mushrooms that are commonly consumed, the black mold that forms on stale bread. The mildew that grows on damp shower curtains, rusts, smuts. Puff balls, toadstools, shelf fungi, and the death cap mushroom, Ammonita phalloides. Of the bewildering variety of organisms that live on the planet Earth. Perhaps the most unusual and peculiarly different from human beings are fungi. Fungi are able to rot timber. Attack living plants, spoil food, and afflict humans with athlete's foot and even worse maladies. Fungi also decompose dead organisms, fallen leaves, and other organic materials. In addition, they produce antibiotics and other drugs, make bread rise, and ferment beer and wine. Where are fungi found? Fungi grow best in dark, moist habitats, but they can be found wherever organic material is available. Moisture is necessary for their growth. And they can obtain water from the atmosphere as well as from the medium upon which they live. When the environment becomes very dry. Fungi survive by going into a resting stage or by producing spores that are resistant to drying. The optimum pH for most species is 5.6, but some fungi can tolerate and grow. In pH ranging from 2 to 9, certain fungi can grow in concentrated salt solutions or sugar solutions. Such as jelly or jam, which prevents bacterial growth. Fungi also thrive over a wide temperature range. Even refrigerated food may be susceptible to fungal invasion. Where are fungi found? Fungi grow best in dark, moist habitats, but they can be found wherever organic material is available. Moisture is necessary for their growth. And they can obtain water from the atmosphere as well as from the medium upon which they live. When the environment becomes very dry. Fungi survive by going into a resting stage or by producing spores that are resistant to drying. The optimum pH for most species is 5.6, but some fungi can tolerate and grow. In pH ranging from 2 to 9, certain fungi can grow in concentrated salt solutions or sugar solutions. Such as jelly or jam, which prevents bacterial growth. Fungi also thrive over a wide temperature range. Even refrigerated food may be susceptible to fungal invasion. Since fungi lack chlorophyll necessary to produce their own food how do they obtain food? Fungi are saprobes that absorb nutrients from wastes and dead organisms. Instead 
of taking food inside its body and then digesting it as an animal would. A fungus digests food outside its body by secreting strong hydrolytic enzymes onto the food. In this way, complex organic compounds are broken down into simpler compounds that the fungus can absorb through the cell wall and cell membrane. Since fungi lack chlorophyll necessary to produce their own food how do they obtain food? Fungi are saprobes that absorb nutrients from wastes and dead organisms. Instead of taking food inside its body and then digesting it as an animal would, a fungus digests food outside its body by secreting strong hydrolytic enzymes onto the food. In this way, complex organic compounds are broken down into simpler compounds that the fungus can absorb through the cell wall and cell membrane. How many kinds of mushrooms are edible? Among the basidiomycetes, there are approximately 200 varieties of edible mushrooms and about 70 species of poisonous ones. Some edible mushrooms are cultivated commercially, more than 844 million pounds. 382,832 metric tons are produced in the United States each year. How many kinds of mushrooms are edible? Among the basidiomycetes, there are approximately 200 varieties of edible mushrooms and about 70 species of poisonous ones. Some edible mushrooms are cultivated commercially, more than 844 million pounds. 382,832 metric tons are produced in the United States each year. What is unusual about Ammonita mushrooms? Some of the most poisonous mushrooms belong to the genus Ammonita. Toxic species of this genus have been called such names as Death Angel, Ammonita phalloides, and Destroying Angel, Ammonita virosa. Ingestion of a single cap can kill a healthy, adult human. Even ingesting a tiny bit of the amatoxin the toxin present in species of this genus may result in liver ailments that will last the rest of a person's life. What is unusual about Ammonita mushrooms? Some of the most poisonous mushrooms belong to the genus Ammonita. Toxic species of this genus have been called such names as Death Angel, Ammonita phalloides, and Destroying Angel, Ammonita virosa. Ingestion of a single cap can kill a healthy, adult human. 
even ingesting a tiny bit of the amatoxin the toxin present in species of this. Genus may result in liver ailments that will last the rest of a person's life. What antidote is available for mushroom poisoning? No effective antidote for human poisoning by mushrooms has been discovered. The toxins produced by mushrooms accumulate in the liver and lead to irreversible liver damage. Unfortunately, there may be no indication of poisoning for several hours after ingesting a toxic mushroom. When the symptoms do present, they often resemble typical food poisoning. Liver failure becomes apparent 3 to 6 days after ingesting the poisonous mushroom. Oftentimes a liver transplant may be the only possible treatment. What antidote is available for mushroom poisoning? No effective antidote for human poisoning by mushrooms has been discovered. The toxins produced by mushrooms accumulate in the liver and lead to irreversible liver damage. Unfortunately, there may be no indication of poisoning for several hours after ingesting a toxic mushroom. When the symptoms do present, they often resemble typical food poisoning. Liver failure becomes apparent 3 to 6 days after ingesting the poisonous mushroom. Oftentimes a liver transplant may be the only possible treatment. Which mushrooms were considered sacred by the Aztecs? Mushrooms of the genera, conocybe and psilocybe. Both of which have hallucinogenic properties, were considered sacred by the Aztecs. These mushrooms are still used in religious ceremonies by the descendants of the Aztecs. Psilocybin, which is chemically related to lysenic acid diethylamide. LSD is a component to both genera and is responsible for the trance-like state and colorful visions experienced by those who eat these mushrooms. Which mushrooms were considered sacred by the Aztecs? Mushrooms of the genera, conocybe and psilocybe. Both of which have hallucinogenic properties, were considered sacred by the Aztecs. These mushrooms are still used in religious ceremonies by the descendants of the Aztecs. Psilocybin, which is chemically related to lysenic acid diethylamide. LSD is a component to both genera and is responsible for the trance-like state and colorful visions experienced by those who eat these mushrooms. What are truffles? Truffles, a delight of gourmets, are arguably the most prized edible fungi. Found mainly in Western Europe. They grow near the roots of trees, 
particularly oak, but also chestnut, hazel, and beech, in open woodlands. Unlike typical mushrooms, truffles develop 3 to 12 inches. 7.6 to 30.5 centimeters, underground making them difficult to find. Truffle hunters use specially trained dogs and pigs to find the flavorful morsels. Both animals have a keen sense of smell and are attracted by the strong, nut-like aroma of truffles. In fact, trained pigs are able to pick up the scent a truffle from 20 feet, 6.1 meters, away. After catching a whiff of a truffle scent, the animals rush to the origin of the aroma and quickly root out the precious prize. Once the truffle is found, the truffle hunter, referred to in French as trufficulteur, carefully scrapes back the earth to reveal the fungus. Truffles should not be touched by human skin, as doing so can cause the fungus to rot. What are truffles? Truffles, a delight of gourmets, are arguably the most prized edible fungi. Found mainly in Western Europe. They grow near the roots of trees, particularly oak, but also chestnut, hazel, and beech, in open woodlands. Unlike typical mushrooms, truffles develop 3 to 12 inches. 7.6 to 30.5 centimeters, underground making them difficult to find. Truffle hunters use specially trained dogs and pigs to find the flavorful morsels. Both animals have a keen sense of smell and are attracted by the strong, nut-like aroma of truffles. In fact, trained pigs are able to pick up the scent a truffle from 20 feet, 6.1 meters, away. After catching a whiff of a truffle scent, the animals rush to the origin of the aroma and quickly root out the precious prize. Once the truffle is found, the truffle hunter, referred to in French as trufficulteur, carefully scrapes back the earth to reveal the fungus. Truffles should not be touched by human skin, as doing so can cause the fungus to rot. What do truffles look like? A truffle has a rather unappealing appearance round and irregularly shaped with a thick, rough, wrinkled skin that varies in color from almost black to off-white. The fruiting bodies present on truffles are fragrant, fleshy structures that usually grow to about the size of a golf ball, they range from white to gray or brown to nearly black in color. There are nearly 70 known varieties of truffles, but the most desirable is the black truffle known as black diamond that grows in France's Perigord and Corsi regions as well as Italy's Umbria region. The flesh of the black diamond appears to be black, but it is actually dark brown, and contains white striations. The flesh has an aroma that is extremely pungent. The next most popular is the white truffle, actually off-white or beige, of Italy's Piedmont region. Both the aroma and flavor of this truffle are earthy and garlicky. 
fresh truffles are available from late fall to midwinter and can be stored in the refrigerator for up to three days. Dark truffles are generally used to flavor foods such as omelets, polentas, risottos, and sauces. White truffles are usually served raw, they are often grated over foods such as pasta or dishes containing cheese, as their flavors are complementary. They are also added at the last minute to cook dishes. What do truffles look like? A truffle has a rather unappealing appearance round and irregularly shaped with a thick, rough, wrinkled skin that varies in color from almost black to off-white. The fruiting bodies present on truffles are fragrant, fleshy structures that usually grow to about the size of a golf ball, they range from white to gray or brown to nearly black in color. There are nearly 70 known varieties of truffles, but the most desirable is the black truffle known as black diamond that grows in France's Perigord and Corsi regions as well as Italy's Umbria region. The flesh of the black diamond appears to be black, but it is actually dark brown, and contains white striations. The flesh has an aroma that is extremely pungent. The next most popular is the white truffle, actually off-white or beige, of Italy's Piedmont region. Both the aroma and flavor of this truffle are earthy and garlicky. Fresh truffles are available from late fall to midwinter and can be stored in the refrigerator for up to three days. Dark truffles are generally used to flavor foods such as omelets, polentas, risottos, and sauces. White truffles are usually served raw, they are often grated over foods such as pasta or dishes containing cheese, as their flavors are complementary. They are also added at the last minute to cook dishes. Which species have become extinct since the Endangered Species Act was passed in 1973? Nine domestic species have become extinct. Are tigers in danger of becoming extinct? Tigers are listed as endangered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the World Conservation Union IUCN, and are included in the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. They are found in isolated regions of India, Bangladesh, Nepal. Bhutan, Southeast Asia, Manchuria, China, Korea, Russia, and Indonesia. Four subspecies of tiger Balinese tiger, Panthera tigris balica, South China tiger. Panthera tigris amoyensis, Caspian tiger, Panthera tigris vergata, and Javan tiger. Panthera tigris sandiaca have become extinct due to habitat loss, poaching, and overhunting. The Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger, Panthera tigris altaica. 
is one subspecies that has made a comeback in recent years. Its total worldwide population had dropped to 20 or 30 individuals in 1940. But there are over 500 in the wild today. Since mid-1990s there has been an increase in the poaching of the Bengal tiger. Panthera tigris tigris, since the bones of this subspecies are a valuable commodity on the black market. Tiger bones are used in Chinese medicines. Current population estimates are 470,000 to 690,000 elephants throughout Africa. A newer concern is the reduction of their natural habitat. The human populations are expanding to areas of elephant habitat. New land areas, that were once elephant habitat areas, are now being used for agriculture. When were bacteria discovered? Anton von Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723, a Dutch fabric merchant and civil servant. Discovered bacteria and other microorganisms in 1674 when he looked at a drop of pond water through a glass lens. Early, single-lens instruments produced magnifications of 50 to 300 times real size. Approximately one-third of the magnification produced by modern light microscopes. Primitive microscopes provided a perspective into the previously unknown world of small organisms. Which von Leeuwenhoek called animal culls in a letter he wrote to the Royal Society of London. Because of these early investigations, von Leeuwenhoek is considered to be the father of microbiology. Who were the founders of modern bacteriology? German bacteriologist Robert Koch, 1843-1910 And French chemist Louis Pasteur are considered the founders of bacteriology. In 1864 Pasteur devised a way to slowly heat foods and beverages to a temperature that was high enough to kill most of the microorganisms that would cause spoilage and disease, but would not ruin or curdle the food. This process is called pasteurization. By demonstrating that tuberculosis was an infectious disease caused by a specific species of bacillus. Cook in 1882 set the groundwork for public health. Measures that would go on to significantly reduce the occurrences of many diseases. His laboratory procedures, methodologies for isolating microorganisms, and for postulates for determining. Agents of disease gave medical investigators valuable insights into the control of bacterial infections. How many genes are in a typical bacterial cell? The bacterium Escherichia coli has about 5,000 genes. How many kinds of mushrooms are edible? Among the Basidiomycetes, 
there are approximately 200 varieties of edible mushrooms and about 70 species of poisonous ones. Some edible mushrooms are cultivated commercially, more than 844 million pounds. 382,832 metric tons are produced in the United States each year. Which species have been removed from the endangered species list because they have recovered? Twenty two species have been removed from the endangered species list because they have recovered. The status of seven species has been changed due to taxonomic revision. New information has been discovered for four other species. Where are fungi found? Fungi grow best in dark, moist habitats, but they can be found wherever organic material is available. Moisture is necessary for their growth. And they can obtain water from the atmosphere as well as from the medium upon which they live. When the environment becomes very dry, fungi survive by going into a resting stage or by producing spores that are resistant to drying. The optimum pH for most species is 5.6, but some fungi can tolerate and grow in pH ranging from 2 to 9. Certain fungi can grow in concentrated salt solutions or sugar solutions, such as jelly or jam, which prevents bacterial growth. Fungi also thrive over a wide temperature range. Even refrigerated food may be susceptible to fungal invasion. How did the dodo become extinct? The dodo became extinct around 1,800. Thousands were slaughtered for meat, but pigs and monkeys, which destroyed dodo eggs, were probably most responsible for the dodo's extinction. Dodos were native to the Mascarene Islands in the central Indian Ocean. They became extinct on Mauritius soon after 1680 and on. Reunion about 1,750. They remained on Rodriguez until 1800. What is unusual about Ammonita mushrooms? Some of the most poisonous mushrooms belong to the genus Ammonita. Toxic species of this genus have been called such names as Death Angel, Ammonita phalloides, and Destroying Angel, Ammonita virosa. Ingestion of a single cap can kill a healthy, adult human. Even ingesting a tiny bit of the amatoxin, the toxin present in species of this genus may result in liver ailments that will last the rest of a person's life. What are archaebacteria?
Archaebacteria, domain archaea, are primitive bacteria that often live in extreme environments. This domain includes the following, 1, thermophiles, heat lovers, which live in very hot environments, including the hot sulfur springs of Yellowstone National Park, which reach temperatures ranging from 140 to 176 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 to 80 degrees Celsius. 2. Halophiles, salt lovers, which live in locations with high concentrations of salinity. Such as the Great Salt Lake in Utah, which has salinity levels that range from 15 to 20 percent. Seawater normally has a level of salinity of 3 percent. 3. Methanogens, which obtain their energy by using hydrogen gas. H2, to reduce carbon dioxide, CO2, to methane gas, CH4. What is the difference between an endangered species and a threatened species? An endangered species is one that is in danger of extinction. Throughout all or a significant portion of its range. A threatened species is one that is likely to become. Endangered in the foreseeable future due to declining numbers. How many groups are identified in the domain bacteria? Biologists recognize at least a dozen different groups of bacteria. What organisms are included in the kingdom fungi? Members of the kingdom fungi range from single cellid yeasts to Armillaria ostoi. A species that covers 2,220 acres, 890 hectares. Also included are mushrooms that are commonly consumed, the black mold that forms on stale bread. The mildew that grows on damp shower curtains, rusts, smuts. Puff balls, toadstools, shelf fungi, and the death cap mushroom, Ammonita phalloides. Of the bewildering variety of organisms that live on the planet Earth. Perhaps the most unusual and peculiarly different from human beings are fungi. Fungi are able to rot timber. Attack living plants, spoil food, and afflict humans with athlete's foot and even worse maladies. Fungi also decompose dead organisms, fallen leaves, and other organic materials. In addition, they produce antibiotics and other drugs, make bread rise, and ferment beer and wine. What is the most abundant group of organisms? The eubacteria are the most abundant group of organisms on Earth. More living eubacteria inhabit the human mouth than the total number of mammals living on Earth. Are turtles endangered?
worldwide turtle populations have declined due to several reasons. Including habitat destruction, exploitation of species by humans for their eggs, leather, and meat, and they're becoming accidentally caught in the nets of fishermen. In particular danger are sea turtles, such as Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Lepidoshellus kempii, which is believed to have a population of only a few hundred. Other species include the Central American river turtle, Dermatemis mewii. The green sea turtle, Chelonia mitas, and the leatherback sea turtle, Dermoshellus coriacea. Endangered tortoises include the ungulated tortoise, Geochelone inifora, the desert tortoise, Gophera sagacezii, and the Galapagos tortoise, Geochelone elephantopus. Do bacteria all have the same shape? Bacteria have three main shapes spherical, rod shaped, and spiral. Spherical bacteria, known as cocci, occur singularly in some species and as groups in other species. Cocci have the ability to stick together and form a pair, diplococci, when they stick together in long chains. They are called streptococci. Irregularly shaped clumps or clusters of bacteria are called staphylococci. Rod-shaped bacteria, called bacilli, occur as single rods or as long chains of rods. Spiral or helical-shaped bacteria are called spirilla. Since fungi lack chlorophyll necessary to produce their own food how do they obtain food? Fungi are saprobes that absorb nutrients from wastes and dead organisms. Instead of taking food inside its body and then digesting it as an animal would. A fungus digests food outside its body by secreting strong hydrolytic enzymes onto the food. In this way, complex organic compounds are broken down into simpler compounds that the fungus can absorb through the cell wall and cell membrane. What was the typical lifespan of dinosaurs? The lifespan has been estimated at 75 to 300 years. Such estimates are educated guesses. From examination of the microstructure of dinosaur bones. Scientists have inferred that they matured slowly and probably had proportionately long lifespans. How did the discovery of bacteria impact the theory of spontaneous generation? The theory of spontaneous generation proposes that life can arise spontaneously from non-living matter. One of the first scientists to challenge the theory of spontaneous generation was the Italian physician Francesco Ridi, 1626-1698. Ridi performed an experiment to show that meat placed in covered containers 
either glass-covered or gauze-covered, remained free of maggots. While meat left in an uncovered container eventually became infested with maggots from flies laying their eggs on the meat. After the discovery of microorganisms by Anton von Leeuwenhoek, the controversy surrounding spontaneous generation was renewed. As it had been assumed that food became spoiled by organisms arising spontaneously within food. In 1776 Lazaro Spallanzani, 1729-1799, showed that no growth occurred in flasks that were boiled after sealing. The controversy over the theory of spontaneous generation was finally resolved in 1861 by Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895. He showed that the microorganisms found in spoiled food were similar to those found in the air. He concluded that the microorganisms that caused food to spoil were from the air and did not spontaneously arise. What are the main components of a bacterial cell? The major components of a bacterial cell are the plasma membrane, cell wall and a nuclear region containing a single, circular DNA molecule. Plasmid small circular pieces of DNA that exist independently of the bacterial chromosome are also present in a bacterial cell. In addition, some bacteria may have flagella, which aids in movement, pili or fimbriae, which are short, hair-like appendages that help bacteria adhere to various surfaces, including the cells that they infect, or a capsule of slime around the cell wall that protects it from other microorganisms. When did the last passenger pigeon die? At one time, 200 years ago, the passenger pigeon, Ectopis migratorius, was the world's most abundant bird. Although the species was found only in eastern North America, it had a population of 3 to 5 billion birds, 25% of the North American land bird population. Overhunting caused a chain of events that reduced their numbers below minimum threshold for viability. In the 1890s several states passed laws to protect the pigeon, but it was too late. The last known wild bird was shot in 1900. The last passenger pigeon, named Martha, died on September 1, 1914, in the Cincinnati Zoo. In a span of just 200 years the passenger pigeon passed from the world's most abundant bird species into extinction. What characteristics do all fungi share? In the earliest classification systems, fungi were classified as plants. The first classification system to recognize fungi as a separate kingdom was proposed in 1,784 researchers identified four characteristics shared by all fungi, fungi lack chlorophyll. 
The cell walls of fungi contain the carbohydrate chitin, the same tough material a crab shell is made of. Fungi are not truly multicellular since the cytoplasm of one fungal cell mingles with the cytoplasm of adjacent cells, and fungi are heterotrophic eukaryotes. Unable to produce their own food from inorganic matter, while plants are autotrophic eukaryotes. What is the difference between a plasmid and a prion? A plasmid is a small, circular, self-replicating DNA molecule separate from the bacterial chromosome. Plasmids do not normally exist outside the cell and are generally beneficial to the bacterial cell. Plasmids are often used to pick up foreign DNA for use in genetic engineering. A prion is an infectious form of a protein or malformed protein that may increase in number by converting related proteins to more prions. Prions may cause a number of degenerative brain diseases such as mad cow disease or Kreutzfeldt-Jakob disease in humans. What evidence has led scientists to believe land plants evolved from green algae? Many scientists believe that ancient green algae evolved into land plants. The chloroplasts present in green algae are the same as those of land plants. In addition, Green algae have cell walls of similar composition to land plants. Both store food, such as starch, in the same manner. Most green algae live in freshwater habitats with highly variable conditions. The ongoing changes in their environment have made them highly adaptable. What are truffles? Truffles, a delight of gourmets, are arguably the most prized edible fungi. Found mainly in Western Europe. They grow near the roots of trees, particularly oak, but also chestnut, hazel, and beech, in open woodlands. Unlike typical mushrooms, truffles develop 3 to 12 inches. 7.6 to 30.5 centimeters, underground making them difficult to find. Truffle hunters use specially trained dogs and pigs to find the flavorful morsels. Both animals have a keen sense of smell and are attracted by the strong, nut-like aroma of truffles. In fact, trained pigs are able to pick up the scent a truffle from 20 feet, 6.1 meters, away. After catching a whiff of a truffle scent, the animals rush to the origin of the aroma and quickly root out the precious prize. Once the truffle is found, the truffle hunter, referred to in French as trufficulteur, carefully scrapes back the earth to reveal the fungus. Truffles should not be touched by human skin, as doing so can cause the fungus to rot. How do prions work and what diseases have been linked to prions?
scientists have not discovered exactly how prions work. Current research shows that prions accumulate in lysosomes. In the brain, it is possible that the filled lysosomes burst and damage cells. As diseased cells die, the prions contained in the cells are released and are able to attack other cells. It is thought that prions are responsible for the group of brain. Diseases known as transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, says. This group includes the disease that is referred to as bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Mad cow disease, when it occurs in cattle and Creutzfeldt Jacob disease when it occurs in humans. What is the status of the African elephant? From 1979 to 1989, Africa lost half of its elephants from poaching and illegal ivory trade. With the population decreasing from an estimated 1.3 million to 600,000. This led to the transfer of the African elephant from threatened to endangered status in October 1989 by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, cites. An ivory ban took effect on January 18, 1990. Botswana, Namibia and Zimbabwe have agreed to restrict the sale of ivory to a single, government-controlled center in each country. All countries have further pledged to allow independent monitoring of the sale. Packing, and shipping processes to ensure compliance with all conditions. Why did dinosaurs become extinct? There are many theories as to why dinosaurs disappeared from Earth about 65 million years ago. Scientists debate whether dinosaurs became extinct gradually or all at once. The gradualists believe that the dinosaur population steadily declined at the end of Cretaceous period. Numerous reasons have been proposed for this. Some claim the dinosaurs' extinction was caused by biological changes that made them less competitive with other organisms. Especially the mammals that were just beginning to appear. Overpopulation has been argued. As has the theory that mammals ate too many dinosaur eggs for the animals to reproduce themselves. Others believe that disease everything from rickets to constipation wiped them out. Changes in climate, continental drift, volcanic eruptions, and shifts in Earth's axis. Orbit, and slash or magnetic field have also been held responsible. The catastrophists argue that a single disastrous event caused the extinction not only of the dinosaurs but also of a large number of other species that coexisted with them. In 1980, American physicist Luis Alvarez, 1911-1988, and his geologist son, Walter Alvarez, 1940, proposed that a large comet or meteoroid struck Earth 65 million years ago. They pointed out that there is a high concentration of the element iridium in the sediments at the boundary between the Cretaceous and Tertiary periods. Iridium is rare on Earth, so the only source of such a large amount of it had to be outer space. 
This iridium anomaly has since been discovered at over 50 sites around the world. In 1990, tiny glass fragments, which could have been caused by the extreme heat of an impact, were identified in Haiti. A 110 mile, 177 kilometer, wide crater in the Yucatan Peninsula, long covered by sediments, has been dated to 64.98 million years ago, making it a leading candidate for the site of this impact. A hit by a large extraterrestrial object, perhaps as much as 6 miles. 9.3 kilometers wide would have had a catastrophic effect upon the world's climate. Huge amounts of dust and debris would have been thrown into the atmosphere, reducing the amount of sunlight reaching the surface. Heat from the blast may also have caused large forest fires, which would have added smoke and ash to the air. Lack of sunlight would kill off plants and have a domino-like effect on other organisms in the food chain, including the dinosaurs. It is possible that the reason for the dinosaurs' extinction may have been a combination of both theories. The dinosaurs may have been gradually declining, for whatever reason. The impact of a large object from space merely delivered the final devastating blow. The fact that dinosaurs became extinct has been cited as proof of their inferiority and that they were evolutionary failures. However, these animals flourished for 150 million years. By comparison, the earliest ancestors of humanity appeared only about 3 million years ago. Humans have a long way to go before they can claim the same sort of success as the dinosaurs. Which mushrooms were considered sacred by the Aztecs? Mushrooms of the genera, Conocybe and Psilocybe, both of which have hallucinogenic properties, were considered sacred by the Aztecs. These mushrooms are still used in religious ceremonies by the descendants of the Aztecs. Psilocybin, which is chemically related to lysenic acid diethylamide. LSD is a component to both genera and is responsible for the trance-like state and colorful visions experienced by those who eat these mushrooms.